Hi there. Uh, we are going to go over uh, the basics of hypopressive breathing. So hypopressive breathing is essentially creating low pressure inside your abdomen and your thorax and using that low pressure to increase the strength of your diaphragm and increase the strength of the fibers of your core that we can't voluntarily activate. What this also does is it gently lifts your pelvic organs, which is pretty cool. So it can be great to use postpartum and great to use with prolapse. So what we're doing is at the end of a nice deep 360 degree diaphragmatic breath, you're going to then take a false breath. So it's a constriction of your throat um, in yoga, this is called Uddiyana Bandha. So this is actually an ancient practice used with slightly different purposes. Um, but you're gonna constrict your throat and with that attempt to breathe, but no ability for air to come in through your throat, your body is going to start to pull from other soft areas. Um, bones can't really come inward, but softer spaces can, like your perineum, like your belly. You may not necessarily see or feel changes in, in your belly, in the, the landscape of it, um, the first few times that you do this, but eventually you will, as we, we want to focus on keeping the belly nice and relaxed so that it can draw in and eventually it will start to come more and more inward because your diaphragm will become stronger and stronger and allow you to truly create that vacuum that pulls inward on your abdomen and inward on your pelvic organs and on your perineum. So great place to start this is laying down just like me. So if you're not already there, do so. Um, I am going to roll my shirts up I don't have just a bra on today, I've got a nursing tank top. So I like to put my fingertips on my ribs when learning this technique because it really can help you to feel for that rib expansion. So my fingers are in the my rib space. So I found a rib on each side and then I simply step into the space between two ribs. And we're gonna start this with feet flat but once you start to get the hang of it, I invite you to flex your feet and just very lightly dig your heels down ever so lightly into the earth, okay? But for now, feet are flat. So we're gonna take three nice 360 degree inhales. Okay, so after that one, what I'm now going to do is take that false breath or that apnea. So I'm gonna constrict my throat, kind of like I'm going swimming underwater. And I'm going to attempt to breathe. And I'm gonna think about pulling the air right to my fingertips. But again, it's not real air, it's imaginary air. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna constrict my throat, kind of like I'm swimming underwater. Okay, there's one more breath. So I was focusing on feeling an increase in the space between my ribs here and also feeling my ribs start to press outward into my fingertips. What we also want to be mindful of is that the belly is soft. We don't want any activity, any clenching in your belly. But additionally, if you try too hard to pull your ribs outward, your internal oblique muscles are actually going to engage. So that's gonna prevent 
that much of a vacuum from having an effect on your abdomen because it's gonna it's gonna mess with that pressure change because your internal oblique muscles are going to be what's pulling your ribs outward um, out and down kind of toward your pelvis in a way but toward your pelvis in the back so we want to try to keep the belly nice and soft so we're gonna do a couple more rounds okay so thinking about both of those things there's a lot that goes into this if you're doing this right even though we've only done it once, you might feel a little bit of a sucking in around your collarbone. That's a good cue that you're starting to do this correctly. So we'll take our three deep breaths again. <sighs> breathing to the back, breathing to the ribs, breathing to the belly, to the chest, letting everything fill with that air. Okay, I'm gonna take my apnea, I'm gonna constrict my throat, and attempt to breathe to my ribs, trying to keep a nice, soft, relaxed belly. Here we go. So on that one, I could also feel expansion in my back, but I could feel my ribs pulling out to the side. And if you notice, I tapped my belly a few times as a cue. You know, you can, you can get that feedback by like, is my belly nice and soft? Just tap in, just check, just like that. So we're gonna do two more rounds and I'm gonna plug my nose on the next one so that you can also try that to check in to see if you're getting a similar sensation, okay? So three deep breaths here, and on the fourth, I'm gonna go straight into plugging my nose for that apnea. like rising above the water. <laughs> okay, good. Three deep breaths again. Remember you're breathing to your ribs. You're also breathing to your belly, to your chest, but to your back. Nice, full, deep breaths are going to really be great for pelvic health. They're great for core strength. They're great for your back. Okay, this next one, I'll take my apnea, keeping my belly soft, pulling my ribs out to the side gently. All right, 
Now I'm going to walk you guys through two rounds, okay? So inhale, nice deep breath. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, and constrict your throat and gently try to breathe into your lower rib cage on the sides. Try to lightly breathe to your back. Check in that your belly is nice and soft. And when you need to, release that throat constriction and take an actual breath. Ooh, it's cold in here today. <laughs> good, good job, good job. Okay, three more breaths. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling. And inhale. And exhale. Okay, here we go. At the end of this exhale, you're going to constrict your throat. I'm going to try to breathe to those fingertips, trying to widen that space between your ribs. Let your belly stay nice and soft. Pinch your nose if you need to, if you're not certain if you're doing it right. Keep pulling those ribs gently, just a hair wider. Remembering that less is more. We don't need to be forceful with that pull. And then when you're ready, release that constriction, take your breath. So keep practicing this. It's tough. Like a lot of things um, in life, less is more. And that's a big thing with getting good at a hypopressive breathing practice. But I promise you can try to do something like this four or five days a week. You'll start to get better and better, and then you'll be able to do more advanced poses that involve a lot more muscle activation throughout the rest of your body. And you're gonna see some really amazing benefits. Okay. Take